Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going from noob to max level with the new mythical Buddha fruit in GPO. So yeah guys, get straight into the video. And here we are guys in GPO's main menu. So today we're going to be going from noob to max level with the new mythical Buddha fruit. So before we do anything, we actually have to eat the Buddha fruit. So I'm going to hop straight into my private server trade hub and actually get the fruit for my friend. So yeah, let's just jump straight in there. Uh, he's going to be dropping me the Buddha fruit any second now. Like I'm so excited to see this fruit. Oh my God, it's right here. Okay, he's going to drop it. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab the Buddha fruit. Oh, okay. Let's make our way here. Okay, so we're going to be eating the fruit right now. So let me start eating this bad boy. Okay, you should eat. There we go. Let me just take some screenshots of this because this looks amazing. Oh my god. And there we go. We ate the Buddha fruit. Oh my god. Okay. Holy. Okay, let's go. So we start off with no moves. Unfortunately, it's a karma bar because it's a transformation. I'm pretty sure this is the transformation, right? 15. I'm hoping it's not because I don't want to get a move that just transformed me into like a big form. And I'm hoping the form doesn't take stamina, which uh, would be great if it doesn't. But yeah, let's hop into the game and just start the level grind. And there we go. We just spawned in. So we're going to start off by doing this girl's quest right here. This is a, a free easy quest to do right off the bat. So let's start it off here. Okay, her necklace should be somewhere around here. Okay, there we go. That's the necklace. Pick it up. I haven't played GPO in so long, so this could be refreshing to actually play this game again. But there we go. Okay, let's just start off straight away with the, with the hands though. I really want to start off with some hands. So these guys are going to be a bit of a problem to do, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm hoping. I'm just going to play it really, really smart. Let's start. Okay. Why am I in American slash Chicago service, bro? This is going to be annoying. I have blocked. Okay. There we go. Pushing back. Okay. No, no, no. This ain't good, bro. This Okay, take a while. If I'm taking this long against bandits, imagine later on. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna hold block and just wish for the best. There we go. Just keep doing like this. So yeah, I'm just keep doing that, and yeah, I'm gonna come back when we unlock our first move. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we should be able to get our first move here. So let's get 15 points of double through. There we go. Let's check. Okay, bullet transformation. It needs to be. What? How do you even get the combo bar up? Wait, let me check something. Do M ones? Okay, M ones don't matter. So uh, this is gonna be a problem. So I guess we can't even use the bullet fruit till 25 points. So it's all right, I guess. So I'm just keep grinding it up, and when I get 25 points, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, we're going to be fighting the boss here, so uh, let's start off with the hands just straight away. Not too difficult, and I'm pretty sure after this, we can finally get our first move of Buddha. So that's gonna be actually quite fun to use. And there we go, level 10. Okay, let's put all our points into level 3 for now. Like, we need to just lock as many like moves as possible. We got palm strike, strike forward, and release a shockwave of pressure. Okay, can we yield it? Ooh, okay, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't see that, but let me just do that one more time here. Nine seconds cooldown how much energy why do i have so much energy oh is that the usual energy i might be tripped i don't know i haven't played this game in a while but let me quickly use palm strike here one more time and there we go very very good move i'm actually really excited we're so close to oh you know what i'm gonna get my combo up real quick my uh, my combo bar so let me fight the boss here one more time okay so let's fight the boss here real quick get with the hands straight away i'm pretty sure we can one shot him with a palm strike so let's use it okay he needs 40 mastery i meant 40 stamina so that's annoying but come on but what the hell oh it's 45 okay we're well, probably gonna die to him let's use it Boom, there we go. We one shot at them. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, no, no. I don't want to die. I lose my comma. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. What the hell was that? I just dashed and it was like a crazy dash. Push him back. This Buddha have its own dash? No, no, no. Please, 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 please. Okay, there we go. Perfect. We got so lucky. Okay, the transformation only takes 20 stamina. But let's check it out here for the first time. I'm about to die. Literally, look at me. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to get some good accessories pretty quick. The start is always so annoying because no stamina. But as soon as you get your stamina up, you're golden. But let's check out the dash one more time here. So let's use this. Okay, what? Dash didn't work. I just wasted my stamina. My dash didn't work. Oh, my. I've I have to be in combat for it to work but you know what let's just use buddha transformation here and there we go what the hell oh buddha half form there's a half form buddha yo this is gonna be so clean you know what let's just move straight to the next island okay to move over to the next island we're gonna actually have to come here get the boat and then uh get that quest over there so let's quickly buy a boat so we want that boat so let's talk to this guy blah 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 take a look let's get this boat 75 belly we got that and then we want some hammers there we go hammer and you know what? let's get some wood there we go just in case our boat gets damaged Let's talk to this woman right here. She'll give us a quest to deliver like a water bucket or something. Okay, there we go. There's a line to go. So let's quickly um spawn in our boat. Equip the boat first. Okay, yeah, this is all the basic stuff. You're just gonna have to get used to it for now. Well, I know I know what I'm doing, but like I haven't played this game in a while. So I need like a little bit of some refresh for me to get used to this game again. But yeah, let's make our way to Sandora. Okay, we've made the way to Sandora here. So let's quickly get the first quest. I want to actually buy the pose first. So the eternal pose. Let's get the ah, okay. I already have it. Okay, I thought I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough. 
enough money but we already got the pause for this so let's complete this quest here and talk to this guy there we go take your water bucket what okay there we go the quest just registered in now we leveled up to you so let's talk to noah and yeah let's just start beating all these guys up let's check this palm strike one shot them oh close okay that's not bad that's not bad and yeah one combo two combos should kill them not too bad to be honest so yeah i'm gonna just keep grinding up here and i'm gonna come back when we're moving over to the next island okay so i just died but we got into the move called judgment impact so let's check it out here leap into the air and fall down to push anything beneath you do you have to be in transformation to use that move i'm hoping not because i know i'm not gonna be in transformation all the time especially uh how weak i am let's check it out what oh my and it stuns yo that is crazy that is crazy oh my god you know what i want to show you something so i can bullet transform right and then with bullet transform i get a completely different move set so you see heavenly shock that's a new move so i'm just gonna use it real quick boom there we go he just one shot at them <laughs> oh buddha is so crazy bro i think it's probably the best grinding fruit in the game maybe venom venom and buddha very very close you know what i need to put my sound on bro i keep forgetting to turn it on so you can hear the idol i'm pretty sure you can hear that i don't know if you can but yeah that's what it sounds like yeah i can't use that move i need some more stamina <laughs> i lost my combo bar so i can't even show you like the actual moves properly but let's use judgment impact here will it one shot these guys oh, bro how much stamina does it need 50 there we go perfect oh my god this fruit is so strong i actually can't wait to like, get more stats because right now the only thing messing me up is stamina like always every single one of these videos stamina always messes me up but yeah now we're just gonna keep on grinding six more levels and we can leave this island and there we go we managed to hit level 25 so we can go over to settings well stats boom there we go so we need 85 points this is half form there is a full form but i don't know how to get to it yet so we're making our way to shell town so we have to talk to this guy here rave deliver we have to deliver rave's letter all the way to shell town so let's spawn in a boat and make our way over there and there we go we made it over to shell town so let's talk to dave here give him the quest and there we go he didn't give us okay come on bro okay there we go he finally registered did he give us a level no okay that was a very bad quest but here's where it gets very very annoying wasting gets a little 50 i think or a little 40 not too sure i think it's 40 actually and then 40 to 90 i'm pretty sure so yeah we're gonna have to farm these guys and, and these guys can get very very annoying so we need to actually like fully give them the hands okay i'm telling if i had good stamina these guys would be no issue whatsoever all right we're finally at the final quest here oh my god and i got something to show you guys so if i come here okay you want know let me just put the sound back on here if i come here whole t there we go oh my god i look so crazy oh my god okay let's quickly just uh, show you how easy it is to kill all these guys and boom come on there we go yep all of them just uh absolutely got like demolished let's go up here let's really go up here and just basically one shot these guys here let's use uh heavily sect impact boom that's basically in my m1s now so every uh, at the end of every m1 combo i just have that move it's crazy okay last two people that i have to kill by the way i do damage whilst walking i know i'm that guy bro i'm the mc for real right now i want to check out all these moves but i can't unfortunately my stamina is way too weak but it doesn't matter because literally <laughs> they don't even hit me they can't hit me only the guy with the gun can hit me and there we go we managed to get to level 40 so now we're gonna actually go make our way to barai which is gonna take up 50 levels uh get to level 9 in Barai, or maybe even 105 actually i might get to 105 in Barai just to make it easier for me why am i taking the quest okay let me leave this real quick but yeah i'm going to be making my way to Barai here so yeah let me get there real quick okay we made our way all the way to Barai. so the thing is how am i supposed to get here okay i'm just gonna put my boat right next to Barai. there we go jump up jump up and there we go okay perfect let's get here we need to first of all set our spawn before we do anything before we get one shotted by any npc i'm going to be getting gepo of course so that's gonna be very very helpful let's jump up here wait can i even get gepo one now let's check or oh, do we have to be a certain level can't remember exactly okay yay okay 9k belly the thing is my friend is i think is my friend just joined which is uh good so he's gonna actually give me belly because yeah we we ain't doing all of that little bro i'm gonna be honest i really planning for belly so let's talk to robo here says spawn all that good stuff all right okay so now we're actually gonna jump straight down here and let's see what we can do against these guys okay palm strike uh he blocked that okay wow yeah but that is gonna take a while i'm gonna be honest so yeah let me just quickly get the grinding here i'm just gonna skip all of barati because the start is super long and we're show. finally back here as you can see so we just managed to get to level 105 so now we can actually finally make our way to sky pier and like, all we need to do is literally uh what's it called gravitos for then fishman i'm pretty sure in first c and that's about it but let's talk to this guy here we're going to be getting black legs so let's unlock it there we go unlock the first move i don't meet the requirements what do i need i need okay mastery so i think i'm just gonna put in 15 mastery for now i think 15 is enough i've saved 30 just in case i can't remember exactly what it is if i 
playing style. Uh, come on. Let me see when we get Gapo. It could be 20, actually. It might be 20. Yeah, Skywalk is 20. Okay, that's good that I saved extra just in case. Put five and put it here. Put all the rest into the devil through here. There we go. I'm pretty sure now we can unlock Skywalk. And there we go. Okay, that is perfect. It took me a while to literally get uh, out, but right, I had to spend a lot of times the XP. So I had to spend a lot of Robux. I started off on a K and I spent like nearly 300 Robux uh, on just times the XP here. The rest I'm just going to keep for Fishman and C2. But now we're going to make our way all the way to Skypea, which is all the way over there. So yeah, let's make our way over there real quick. Okay, so we should be right below Skypea here. I actually had to get my friend on, tell me where to go, but it's right there. I see. Okay, perfect. Because Skypea is so hard to find in private servers because uh, that wind turbine thing isn't really there. So you can't see from far away. My friend is on, so which is actually quite good. So now I know where I'm going. But, uh, bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Skypea is a grind. I think we need to get to 150 and then grab the Vitos 4 for 20 levels or 40 levels. Can't remember exactly, but I do have a guide that I'm watching whilst I'm doing this. So I do know where I'm going. But let me quickly get here, buy the pause, eternal pause, and also set my spawn. Okay, we're in district 2, which isn't where we're going to be. We're going to be over there. We do want to be here, but we're going to set our spawn first because we're going to have to get five levels in this area. I'm going to showcase the whole of Buddha later on in the video, guys, because right now I don't have enough uh, stamina to actually showcase all the moves. So I will showcase it maybe in like two, three minutes uh, from what you're watching right now. But let's set my spawn here, get the eternal pause, and let me make my way over there. Okay, let's accept this quest real quick. I have to do this five levels, literally, so it won't take too long. Let's aggro one of them. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, he blocked it. Okay, let's check this. Okay, they're not that difficult to be. I'm gonna be honest, they're not really that difficult. Especially if I go big Buddha form here, which I'm gonna go in right now. Don't even think they'll be able to hit me. Yeah, they can't even hit me. Except the guy that has the rocket launcher, but he won't be doing enough damage to actually kill me, so it's all good. Spam M ones, and they should be dead very, very soon. Yeah, this Buddha transformation is OP as hell. Oh my god. Okay, that rocket guy is doing a lot of damage to me, so I'm gonna have to find a way to kill him. I think I'm just gonna have to focus him straight away, make sure he gets out. Okay, there we go. We only have to kill five people, which isn't too bad, but yeah, I died here. So I'm gonna just complete this quest, guys, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, this should be the final time we do this quest here. All right, let's end it off. Come on, and there we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, we can de transform and now we can make our way to the next quest, which is going to be all the way over there. This is the final quest of Skype here. We could do it now and all that good stuff, but we're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna stick to uh, doing this quest right the bottom quest all the way to 160 or is it 170 let me check real quick okay to 160 and then after that we go to gravitos for uh for 30 levels and then we should be cooking oh i actually can't wait bro call it for fishman it'd be so fun to uh destroy fishman with such an op3 and by that time i should have enel's drums to uh, help me out with some uh, stamina regen and we should be cooking we should be cooking there we go we complete this quest and we managed to get to level 200 like it's so easy to level up here but you know what i'm actually gonna finally move on because um wait how do you even get out of here Oh, sorry there. Uh, I'm gonna actually finally move on because Fishman is the longest grind in this game and we might as well just get it started. I've been trying to push it away and not go, but we're gonna have to go. We're level 200, so we're literally basically just under halfway uh, of getting to max level. So yeah, let's make our way to Fishman here, do the little mage thing, and uh, we should be able to get to the final bit of first C. First try. Easy work. First try. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. First time. No issues. Let's talk to this guy here. Set our spawn. Thank you, Robo. Let's see what boost does to these guys so all i'm gonna do is just hit this guy once like this and transform yes okay then we got transfer him just in time so now they can't even hit me now i just need to uh heavenly fall okay boom okay i definitely need a move that hits everyone so divine retribution could be the one that hits everyone yeah it does yeah gg it's literally gg already okay so my two times exp just went out and we basically finished well we already finished it a long time ago and now we're gonna make our way to second c i think i got enough stats to actually survive in second c uh pretty well i'm gonna try and go for 700 double fruit or maybe even 800 no idea what this caps on or what the best uh, stats are for this but now we're gonna be making a way to reverse mountain i have no idea what reverse mountain is from here so we're gonna have to figure it out and there we go we've made it all the way to reverse mountain so let's quickly go over there we have to get the scroll which can, can be very very annoying i'm not gonna lie the scroll uh let me just not say anything okay so let's quickly go all the way uh to the set spawn guy and get the the eternal pose here last island of c1 finally or last thing we have to do in c1 anyways with today's video okay, i'm pretty sure we just go between north and northeast right no c step and spawned in oh no thunder clouds oh no please there's only one. Oh no there's more get me in here what was the button to grab it again oh it's all grab it there we go well scroll now you can kill me i don't care we're making our way to second c baby finally okay so we got the scroll here let's check it out right here well scroll so let's just jump straight in talk to this guy open up the gate let's go open it up baby send goku in second c lightweight second c oh i actually can't wait to try the impel down update or the new stuff they added because i haven't tried it out yet we're gonna 
yeah try it out of course we'll do impale down at the end of the video after we've maxed out but let's just jump straight in here come on teleport me anytime now there we go perfect i will also get some items i'm probably just gonna get uh, some items on my main account but i don't even think i need items anytime soon so yeah we're about to go to second seed let's go come on teleport me in bro already and there we go we spawned in we got a new tile explorer of the seas so let's go to tiles here put it on no perks but it's all good so the thing the best thing for us to do is just to straight away start grinding up and just make our way to Trilla bark so i'm pretty sure it's like this way so yeah let me make my way through the bark real quick okay bro why was through the box so hard to find i had to get my main account on just to literally take me there well go there and then uh, party me and then find it but oh my that was so hard to find so let me quickly leave with my alt account here or my main all right he should be leaving any second okay so let's quickly go here let's set our spawn there we go uh get this okay my old my main has left finally okay we got through the bug pose we set our spawn so i'm pretty sure the first people we're going to be fighting are the zombies right so wait to fight zombie knights are zombie knights here or over there can't remember exactly let's check what level is this quest this is 350 what about this one 350 don't tell me every quest here is 350 okay every quest here might actually be 360 okay every quest here might actually be 350 yes okay this quest isn't okay yes zombies yes 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 perfect okay so these zombies shouldn't be too hard they're very close together which is perfect for my type of play style especially because i have uh, the buddha fruit okay there's so many people there let's use judgment impact palm push or palm strike so let's transform all right now we should be able to kill everyone basically boom boom let's use divine retribution boom there we go okay 15 and they all died i one shot everything with buddha which is good well actually nearly one shot yeah i nearly one shot everything which is amazing mm, let's use spine breaker there we go okay we got a buddha form straight away so we can just keep doing this quest over and over so easily like look how fast i'm gonna do this quest here real quick wait for them to all spawn back in what's that i keep seeing this is that an island like, like, like which that's an island you can kill well not kill i mean like take over oh they spawn on both sides that is amazing by five oh my god oh i'm a, a, bro, I'm gonna literally bro two times xp 30 minutes of me just grinding this with buddha is gonna be so easy oh my god buddha is the best kind of fruit in the game by the way i don't know if i've mentioned that already but it's by far the best kind of fruit in the game i don't care what anyone says it's, it's just it's just too good boom there we go and we just keep it morning and they should be dead let's do transform easy uh that was very easy oh my god so i'm just keep grinding this here and i'm gonna come back when we're moving on so i think i'm gonna move away from these quests actually i might not go to that quest over there because uh, that's inside the building so i might just stay here for a while so i might stay to like 400 yeah okay i have to stay till 425 okay so yeah i'm just grind up till 425 and i'm gonna be right back so only 100 levels and we finally finished in thriller bot guys level 428 i've actually been grinding non-stop i don't think i've played a single second without two times the xp this whole time i'm trying to get this video out as fast as possible for you guys and with this fruit it's super super easy to level up here on my stats right now i know i'm very heavy into level three but i'm gonna think go for like 350 stamina 350 defense and then the rest of the level three and sword and all that good stuff if i do play with this account later on because actually 100 percent will this fruit is so op i'm definitely gonna use this account a lot more so i have to go to chilla bark uh not chilla bark sorry rose kingdom uh to go to rose kingdom i'm pretty sure you go southeast from here so yeah southeast no maybe southwest you know what i'm gonna make my way back because it tells me to go from southeast from the start of the uh, second sea so i'm just gonna go back to the reverse mountain and go southeast from there well we could go south from here but we'll just see what happens i'm just gonna go south here southeast southwest and just see where we end up i guess and we've actually made it that did not take that long and we got to rose kingdom all i have to do is go south from killer bark well south like here so so a little bit more south actually no middle of southwest and south but a little bit more to the south okay i found the quest right here how many do we have to kill let's see here okay pj get the quest okay six crazy wolves is not bad whatsoever that's actually not a lot that's already three boom okay much they're actually damaging me i think that's six wait where are they are they like synced up together or something okay damn it that's four okay i'm died, died already yeah i need big buddha form for this i can't lie i definitely need the big buddha form okay so let's quickly redo this here so annoying how they can hit me from so like far rope like i'm literally running away from them they still hit me like how there we go let's hit all of them like that step out okay that should be six okay we got six now we got everyone that we need now we just gonna play smart boom push them back like that we do just uh the first time killing all of them is gonna be quite difficult but now okay there we go please don't die i, I died no but what i'm alive okay, i need to transform here so please where they can't get me there we go we transformed now i don't think they can hit me yeah they talk they can't hit me it's gg yeah bigfoot buddha form is just gonna carry the heck out of me there we go completed yeah this is gonna be very very simple oh my okay so i kid you not it's only been 20 minutes since I last recorded this is crazy look how much look just look how many levels i'm gonna get right now from this one quest here i'm just gonna do it okay all i have to do is just go around like this like 
and then just stun the middle, hit my divine retribution, just like that. They all die. Well, nearly die, anyways. Those two haven't died yet. Just one and one. Boom. There we go. Did you see my level jump? I think I gained like what five levels or six levels from just one quest, which is insane. Oh my god. All I need, all I need is actually basically like 50 more levels and I'm done. So we're literally super duper close to max level already. Holy. I did a villain noob to pro and an open noob to pro, and I didn't realize this was a thing here. I didn't know. I was just farming uh, Don Mingo family members. So doing this is just so much easier. This is the best quest about far in the game, bro. What is this? Let me just quickly transform. Okay, I'm level 512. I don't have to have XP as well, but just look at my level. I'm 512. What level am I gonna get to? Like 516? 517. Okay. Nearly 518. Oh my god. Yeah, let's just keep grinding. We're so close to max level. Wow, this has been extremely fast. I'm literally two levels away from hitting max level. Finally, bro. This uh, took so long. First C was such a grind. Second C, I think I've done it in less than three hours of grinding. I can't lie. 250 levels in two hours is crazy. That's how good C2 is. Like, C2 is so good. I'm just doing quests. Normally, I'm gonna do boss fights and stuff like that, but I'm just doing this. Uh, even though we're doing boss fights, of course, it is like 20 times better, more fun, all that good stuff. But this hasn't been that bad to be honest compared to like other new to maxes I've done, like Blocks Fruit, especially that game. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Let's just kill these guys off with Divine Retribution. And there we go. We have hit max level. Oh boy, we've done it. That took such a long time. It didn't take too long, so I'm grateful, but it did take a long time still. So yeah, I'm gonna go quickly watch a video on Impale Down and stuff like that, see what we're supposed to do. And as soon as I know everything, I'll just come back to do Impale Down with you guys. Okay, so I just searched up what Impale Down is, and unfortunately, you can't even do it with Buddha. Uh, Buddha, you have to get it from a chest in there. So I might make a whole separate video on Buddha and Impale Down. Uh, right now, let's just go fight someone just to showcase, to showcase every single move with Buddha, because I just realized I haven't done that yet. So let's start off with Palm Strike. So let's quickly use it. Use it, you push them back. Pretty good amount of damage. Then you got Judgment Impact, which, uh, there we go, stuns them. And then you can start your M1 com combo. Next move is called Spine Breaker, which you can uh, actually chain in midair. Boom, there we go. I think it's better to use it on the ground, because it does extra damage when they slam onto the floor. The I'm pretty sure Spine Breaker is a God Breaker. This one is, 100% is. I know that for a fact, that's a God Breaker. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we're actually getting rocked right now. Let's use Spine Breaker right now. Boom, it does more damage when they slam onto the floor, as you can see. So doing it in the up tilt is not really uh, the best way to do this. Let's transform here. Let's quickly uh, go to tree. Let's use Blue Transformation. There we go. So you get Golden. You get this thing called Enlightenment. It surrounds your allies and divine energy, giving them temporary buffs. Ooh, even you and your allies. So if we use it here, I haven't used it properly yet. Anyways, I haven't even used it at all. So I'm pretty sure anyone who's in your party or do they have to be in your radius? Not too sure. But I think you get a higher regeneration uh, boost. Uh, you take less damage, I think. Not too sure. But the moves do change. So you got Heavenly Shockwave, which is the same thing as the, the first move uh, in uh, non-transformation. But if you use it here, it actually shoots out and it has range. The second move, I think is my favorite one. Heavenly Send Impact. Heaven Send Impact Leap. So if you use it, you leap towards your enemy and then you boom, you do this. Crazy, crazy, crazy move. Let's use Spine Breaker in this form here. I'm pretty sure it just does more damage. That's it. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, you can change these moves. Like this fruit is so good for PvP and PvE. It's actually kind of broken how good this thing is. But yeah, now the only thing left is to show the big Buddha form. So you have to have 80% of your bar to actually use it. So let me farm up with this guy here. You got the bar to 80%. That's the minimum you need to actually uh, get it so you just hold the transformation you have to hold it down and this transformation animation looks pretty pretty clean i'm not gonna lie so you have heavenly shockwave so you use it here and uh, you can shoot it out as you can see it goes pretty good distance not gonna lie you got a heaven sent impact uh which is jump down but you don't really jump you shoot that thing down instead of jumping next move is heaven uh fall but i'm not gonna use it yet this is enlightenment as you can see yeah i'm pretty sure they have to be in your radius but let's make our way over there by the way your footsteps and your jumps uh, do damage so you have to actually jump i'm pretty sure if you just bam jump you're just gonna do a lot of foots like uh, a lot of damage so actually no jumping is not do it you just have to have to walk basically so let's use heaven for the guy should be right under me right so let's grab him there we go we grabbed him and we squash him and yeah it's crazy it's actually crazy and we slam him down we do so much damage now you got divine retribution which is just so good oh my god look at this we're just gonna shoot it outwards because we've seen it before uh, hit enemies so let's just shoot it outwards the range on it is crazy and it does so much damage you don't understand that does so much damage it's one shot every person i've ever tried it on uh but i think it's because i have so much in the devil fruit it does so much damage but that's basically for buddha guys but yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash that subscribe button let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new buddha buddha fruit in gpo and i'll catch you all next time peace out